Let's remind ourselves of what the quadrants are. And then let's discuss them in terms of the sine and the cosine. If we've got the x coordinate, sorry, the x axis, and we've got the y axis, these axes together cut the plane into four pieces. Those pieces are called quadrants. And they are traditionally represented using Roman numerals. This is quadrant one. And then for whatever reason, they're numbered counterclockwise. One, two, three, four. If we know we're now relating this to the sine and the cosine, if we know what quadrant an angle terminates in, we know, and it's unfortunate that sine is used in two different ways. We know the sine, S-I-N-G, whether it's positive or negative of the sine, S-I-N-E, the function, and the cosine. And that's because the sine and the cosine are x and y coordinates. And the quadrant tells you whether the x and the y coordinates are positive or negative. In the first quadrant, x and y are both positive. In the second, y is positive, x is negative. In the third, they're both negative. In the fourth, x is positive. Y is negative. So in terms of the sine and the cosine, in the first quadrant, they are both positive. In the second quadrant, the sine is positive, but the cosine is negative. In the third quadrant, they are both negative. In the fourth quadrant, the cosine is positive but the sign is negative.